with the 84th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select DeMarvin Leal. Rodgers goes down. It's DeMarvin Leal, preseason All-American. Looked like it on that play. And he's taken down in the backfield for a loss on the play. That was DeMarvin Leal. Where were you the night you got drafted by the Steelers and, you know, who made the phone call and how did it all go down? Um, I was in San Antonio, Texas, and, you know, was with family at an Airbnb out in Leon Valley and, um, you know, got on a call with coach and, you know, uh, first everybody was inside watching the draft, but then, you know, it was like, let's go by the pool. Let's just look at the sky, you know, get away from the TV for a little bit. So we all just migrated outside and was just talking, just having, having each other, enjoying each other's time. And mm -hmm. then next thing you know, there goes the call. Were you surprised it was the Steelers or did you maybe have a hunch as, you know, they were coming up with that pick? Um, I wanted to come here. So like it was a no brainer when I got that call from Pittsburgh. So it was like, I was more waiting on it, just time. So it was just all God's timing as well. So just was blessed when I first got it. Why'd you want to come here? Uh, you know, Coach Dunbar, you know, he's a fantastic coach. And, you know, he, he has ties with my defense line coach at A&M as well. So, you know, just when we first met, it was just automatically clicked. You guys clicked? Yes, ma'am. And how much interaction did you have with Coach Dunbar and other people in the organization throughout mm -hmm. this entire crazy process? Uh, we, you know, we hopped on a few phone calls and then we also had dinner after pro day and that was went good for a good two hours just me and him just talking up talking about ball and each other just you know personal life things that we like to do and mm -hmm. everything so it just went extremely well so what kind of player is coach dunbar getting he's getting somebody who's really willing to give his all you know <laughs> just somebody that's going to be fully committed and i want, I want to like sink in as much wisdom as i can how do you approach coming in? Obviously, Cam Hayward's here, uh, you know, guys who are established. Where do you want to play? How do you go about learning all the positions and just, you know, giving your best effort and being able to get on the field? You know, with the older guys, you know, I know there's a lot of older vets here. So, you know, just like I said, just want to be a sponge. Just want to sink in as much wisdom as I can about the game itself. And, you know, they've been here for a long time. So definitely going to, you know, look at those guys as big brothers and, you know, take their advice when it comes to a lot of things. and you know, just try to play all the positions that I can possibly on the defensive line. So, you know, that's going to take a lot of communication, a lot of learning and, you know, just trusting the process. What about just, you know, working with TJ Watt and guys like that mm -hmm. too, who work so close with Coach Dunbar? Uh, definitely. Yeah, I can't wait. Honestly, <laughs> you know, that's a, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, He's you're ready. Guy. <laughs> He's that guy. And so, you know, just learning just, how they go about, you know, preparing for the game. And, you know, it's a whole nother ball game now. So mm -hmm. it's just learning how they prepare for the game mentally, physically, emotionally as well. And just take all that wisdom in. Who called you first, Dan Moore Jr. or Buddy Johnson? <laughs> it was Buddy Johnson. He won. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what have they told you just about, you know, this organization and their experience so far? Uh, I'm going to love it here. You know, it's a great place and, uh, you know, just can't wait for me to get in and, you know, we hopped on the phone call last night and we just talked about it and it was like, yeah, got my linebacker back. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me.